Welcome fellow Airsoft players and enthusiasts, channel host Marshmallow. And in this series we are going to be tackling the app called ATAC and all the uses that we have. So stick around. Alright, today I'm going to go over what is called uh, rubber sheeting and uh, drawing custom objects on the map. Uh, these will go hand in hand, uh, but first we'll dive into rubber sheeting. Uh, what this is, is we can take a JPEG file, uh, drop it onto our map in a location, and uh, edit it as we need to see fit to be used. What do I mean by that? Well, uh, in this case, I'm going to use Otherworld Milsom. They have an event called Apocalypse that um, is held at Scrimmage Paintball. And their map that they released shows the different uh, points that we need to hold. Well, I'm going to take that uh, image that they sent, drop it onto our ATAC uh, map, where it lines up pretty much perfectly in the spots, and then that will allow me to be able to cross-use uh, information that they put, because they make these coordinates kind of systems. So then that way I can uh, be useful enough to where if someone's like, hey, I'm at A7 or something, I, I'm going to be like, I, I don't, what? So that uh, rubber sheeting will allow me to do that. Uh, this can also be used, let's say, if you went to a museum and you wanted to know where uh, different, um, you know, uh, exhibits and stuff are. So uh, we'll, we'll dive into that. And the uh, custom objects what I'm going to use is to kind of trace an out-of-bound uh, area. I used this in a previous map. It's great. So then that way, when I'm on the field, uh, if I'm questioning if I'm out-of-bounds or close to out-of-bounds, this could give me a pretty good idea. So without further ado, uh, let's dive on in. So here is uh, the map, uh, Scrimmage Paintball. Now, uh, again, if um, you wanted to use the offline uh, mapping setup, which is what I have done, you can look in a previous video uh, how to do that. Uh, that's why what you'll see is the actual map and then around it's like this green kind of border with nothing to see because that is what we are using. All right, so this is the uh, general area that uh, we are paying attention to for this game. So to... First, start set up the rubber sheeting. When we come up to the three dots, we are going to look for right there called rubber sheet. Tap on that. It's going to give you the little information when you open it the first time. I'm just going to say OK. And here's where you would have them loaded up and ready to go for uh, editing. We have nothing. So you hit that little plus symbol in the circle. And I've already saved the JPEG uh, map. So you move it to your SD card, all that sort of stuff. And once I tap that, it's going to import this file. Now, as you see, this is obviously way too big. Uh, this is where I will uh, tell you this is going to take you quite some time to set up. You're going to have to do a lot of editing. I'll show you briefly kind of what we need to do. And then um, I'm going to pause the video and come back. But from here, when you tap on it in the center, you'll get all the uh, things we're used to seeing. Uh, the pencil is where you can see it says drag and then rotate. And on each side, you'll see these kind of weird plus symbols, if you want to call them that. And then each corner, the corner boxes. This is what we're going to use to edit the size and so forth. So when you tap and hold, I'm going to tap on the side, you can see that I am shrinking this map or making it bigger on the one side. And then if you tap and hold in the corner, this can change it as well as like on your landscape and port. Uh, portrait side. So that's the drag. When you tap on rotate, this is what will allow you to uh, rotate it the 360s. Uh, what I do is I just take two fingers, tap it, and then you can rotate it uh, to where you need. Now I'm sure you're saying, well this is great, but I can't see where the heck I'm moving it. It's okay. Uh, when you look off to the right, you'll see color. You see that white, and then you'll see the 0%, 50%, 100%. If you take that 100, you drag this down, you'll start to see it disappear. I find somewhere, for me, somewhere around the 20% or wherever that's set, that seems to work uh, good enough to where I can see what I need to do. Now again, this is going to take a lot of finagling. I'm going to go back up to drag for now. I'm going to shrink this down, hit the center, hold it, and then move it over to the map. And then you're going to need to zoom in. And again, this is the basic of how you set this and I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to get this set to where it needs to be and then we'll look from there uh, how everything's set up. So 
So now we got this where we need to be, and we are done. Uh, you can um, do any other editing that you need, etc. But uh, for now, the name, I'll leave that as is. Um, tap that X to get out of the editing. You can tap the back button, and now we are good to go there. So let's come back into rubber sheet. And now this is where you can export it. Uh, right now this is still in the editing phase. Uh, you'll see that little piece of paper with that forward symbol. Tap that. This is gonna say export finish. Yeah. So now what you have done is you've exported it as a secondary file. Uh, you can always come back to this and edit it again if you need, uh, just by hitting this little um, circle here, hitting the green button on and off, you can enable it. So that's all fine and dandy. Where is it? All right. Well, let's come back to um, main page here, and we are going to look for our overlays. So that three sack paper, tap on that, and then you're going to see down here, it'll say image overlay. Now, if I tap this uh, circle on the left, you'll see it disappear. So this is how it's enabled. So if it didn't enable for whatever reason, that's how you can do that. And when we tap in here, this is going to show you that one and any other ones that you create as far as your rubber sheets that you exported. Now, if you tap on it again, this is where it's going to give you your options to edit it. Because as it is right now, that's at 100%. And that may not be what we were going for. So if we tap this eyeball here, that turns it on and off. If we tap the papers on the, I don't even know what that would be, like the black, white paper. Either way, uh, this is what will bring up your... Uh, transparency settings. Now you can also do this just by tapping it on uh, the map, but hit that. And now I'm going to slide this down, I don't know, maybe 50%, yeah, a little bit less. There we go. So now you can just barely see it over the map, but we can see the map that we need. So if we need to adjust this in game, whichever that you need, uh, that's how you can adjust it. I'm going to try to bring this up a smidgen more. Uh, and because of how old my phone is, it's going to take a little while, but uh, right about there, maybe. All right. So now we have this uh, in our area. So now when we're in the game, if someone's like, hey, you know, I'm in um, square 8-8. Eight dash eight. You're like, okay, so there's 8, there's 8, and I'm hovering over it. Okay, so they're right there. So now you can take your real world map system of your GPS, know where you are, and you can translate it to where if someone's just got just that sheet and they happen to whatever. But either way, this makes it so then you can um, have an idea of the two. All right, so to make a custom shape for whatever reason you're thinking to use, in this case, I'm using it to give me a guide for an out of bounds. How do I do that? Well, there's the square up in our icons with a pencil looking thing. We tap that, this will open up our custom shapes that we can make. Uh, there's circle, square, uh, multiple plot point ones, and the pencil, which is a custom one that you just literally trace and hold with your finger. Uh, I'm going to do the one that's got the multiple points. Now, if we were to trace just around the map, what would happen is it would basically shadow over the whole map, which is not what we want. We kind of want the opposite. So how do we do that? Well... I'm going to uh, take a point here, and I'm going to first start to plot what I would think is the out of bounds. Now the key is, before we connect them, which is what we don't want to do, I'm going to create another shape that is going to be kind of the, I don't know, buffer zone of sort that I'm trying to make. And from here, then we'll connect it. So now you see I've got this weird kind of uh, shape around it that's, you know, whatever. It's rough. But we can adjust this. So to do that, we're going to hit this X to get out of the editing option. And you'll see right here in the center, there's shape one. If you tap that, you can hit this pencil. And what this is going to allow us to do is a couple things. One, uh, we can just move these points here. I'm going to zoom in. If we tap and hold that point, just like what we were doing with pictures and stuff in the previous, we can adjust this. So I'm just going to adjust this one here and move this one, and I'm going to adjust it about as close as I can. You can overlap them if you wanted, but uh, I'm just going to bring this, let's say, up there, close enough. So now what this has done is when we zoom out, we can see, 
Oh, all right, so we've got our zones. Now, I'm just gonna move this one up here. And this is where you could really fine tune everything in that you would want. Now, let's say you're like, well, I wanna add another one. Can I do that? Yeah, I'm gonna say like right here if I wanted to add one. If you double tap, up, oh, up, tap and hold, sorry. That just created another one. So that's how you can add different spots. So like right here, we're like, oh, that's it. So tap and hold, boom. And now we can fine tune this even more. So this is how we can set um, the little uh, shape here. And again, this is roughly, uh, it's, it's not perfect, but this is the basic idea of what uh, we would wanna do. And I'll just move this here and so forth. Move this one back up. So again, this is the rough shape, but now what you can see is uh, I've created to where all the zones outside of it are, you know, uh, white. So if we're on the map and we're looking at our GPS, we can see, oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm nowhere near the out of bounds. I'm good. Or if you're like, oh, I'm kind of. Now you're stuck to white. No, you can change this color. If you look over in our uh, show labels area, you see that color that's white. If you tap that, this is where you can get other colors too. Uh, you could use orange if you like. That's my preference, but whichever you'd like, or if you want to use red, etc. And then that way that blocks that out. And then, of course, just like everything else, you can change the name tapping on that I'll just change this to the you know I don't know out out of play if uh, my phone can work with me okay so now we've got that and again you could change the transparency right next to that color you could go to just change it down very much if you didn't or you can change it to 100% and it's gonna block everything out so you have those options of how you want to do that so there's that overview. Uh, that is how you can lay down a rubber sheet, create a rubber sheet, and also custom objects or custom shapes to uh, create what you would need. And in this case, was not a bounce. Hope you found this helpful, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.